there and welcome. My name's Gail Porter and you're tuned into Careers TV, our guide to Britain's 21st century job market. In today's programme, we'll be focusing on careers in the IT sector, going to several companies to get the lowdown on what it's like in the business, what opportunities are available and how best to break into the industry. We can thank a certain Mr Tim Berners-Lee for one of the most important inventions in human history and one that has most likely changed the course of evolution on this planet forever. I'm of course referring to the internet, an innovation of the 20th century that has revolutionised the way we do virtually everything from business transactions to human interactions. It's really with the extension and promulgation of the internet that the IT industry has come into its own. There's hardly a facet of the business sphere that hasn't had to adopt IT practices and practitioners over the last decade or so, and it has been a rapid sea change. Just to show how much IT has changed our lives in a relatively short period of time, statistics for 2007 showed that there are now more than 38 million Britons hooked up to and regularly using the internet. That's a massive 63% of the total British population and more than double the 15 million people registered online in 2000. Despite this, a recent survey showed that 42% of Britons are not confident using a computer for more than basic functions. So Britain, why choose a career in IT? I think there are lots of misconceptions about what a career in IT is all about. Um, and the major misconception is that if you go into IT, you will be sat in a basement with a bunch of geeks. Um, that is not entirely true. Uh, if you go and work for, if you go, go to a room full of students often and ask the question, who here would like to be a management consultant? Pretty much everyone puts their hand up. I mean, the industry has done particularly well at advertising how well you might be um, paid in your first few years of, of working for those kind of organisations. If you ask the same group of people here as has a degree in a, in a technology-based degree, um, you won't get as many hands go up in the air. But essentially, if you want to be a management consultant and work in those consultancy arenas, it's about IT. And you'll find yourself actually being, being an ambassador for that organisation. You'll be sat client side for the vast majority of your time serving for that company. Very, very challenging industry to be in. It moves so quickly. Um, every piece of software is upgraded so regularly that companies have to um, evolve, adapt and change, so they move incredibly quickly. So from my point of view, to work in that type of environment is absolutely fantastic because no two days are the same, um, there is a huge amount of change management goes on and, and you need the flexibility to be able to adapt to those changes when they come. And that is across the piece, that's not just in HR but that's in, in all software um, industries. And that's why I think it's a really exciting place to be because it's, it's, it's forever evolving and changing. And again, it comes back to the reason why we have so many long-serving employees is because actually their jobs have developed and changed so many times that it's almost like taking on another role. This particularly is not an industry where you get your qualification, you've learned how to do something, and then you ply your trade for, uh, for 20, 30 years. It's just not like that. Um, you need to be acquiring new skills all the time, and you will often find in this industry that what you're doing is really very different to what you were doing three years ago, five years ago. It's almost like a new career. You're often in the same company or the same sector, but what you're actually doing has changed dramatically. So I think you have to be a good, a willing learner and a, and a, and a bit of a sponge to, to take on new experiences and new, uh, new skills. Uh, the IT sector is changing very dramatically. There are two things which are changing it in particular. Uh, one is a speed of consolidation. Whereas at one time there were lots of small software companies around, uh, now there are fewer uh, and they're, they're much larger companies. The second thing which is changing uh, the whole IT arena uh, is clearly the advance of the internet, uh, particularly now that broadband uh, is so widely used. And so much of our development activity now is looking to the future, how we can make best use of the internet uh, and ensure that we're able to service our customers as they become much more mobile. Life in the IT market is the same as it's been all the time I've been in for the last 25 years, which is it's a brilliant place to be if you like change. The only thing that's constant is the fact that it changes all the time. So the things that helped you be successful in the past, to some extent, are only a guide because it's highly competitive, it's, it's hugely innovative, uh, there's lots and lots of amazing opportunities for growth. These organisations like HP, uh, we're in 170 different countries, got 165,000 employees, uh, we've got market 
positions, market share positions, which are phenomenal in comparison to our competitors. And it's probably, if you enjoy a challenge and you enjoy change and you like the challenge, the intellectual and technical and personal challenge of doing it, it's a great place to be. The beauty of an IT career, um, even if you come in with just a certain limited amount of skills or, or an idea of what you want to do, when you get to know the industry itself well as well, you do have so many more options. You don't, un other like, unlike other professions where um, you just have a steady progression that sort of moves up along one channel, within IT and telecommunications you have choices where you can specialise in certain areas or you can do development or you can do engineering, project management and even into pre-sales where you have a combination of sort of real front end of the business responsibilities but with that technical knowledge as well. So the options are immense the more diverse you can be in terms of the skills that you're learning about the commercial elements of the business as much as the, the technical skill sets. Career in IT is extremely diverse. Uh, there is a tendency to see still to visualise someone working in IT as that geek. Well today it's completely different. The reality is that a career in IT may take you through management, it may take you through software development, it may take you into sales and marketing, it may take you into management consulting. So the reality is, is there are very, very diverse career options in IT. We all have our ideas about what certain careers entail. If you're a fireman, you're going to have to get cosy with the idea of being quite hot in the workplace. And if you're a figure skater, you're going to have to be prepared to cut a lot of ice. Do you see what I did there? Ice cut. So although we might think we know what a career in IT has to offer, what is it actually like? I chose a career in IT originally because I felt that I was stifled in, in the accountancy profession. Um, I wanted to do more stuff with, with customers and I'd just bought a new PC at the time uh, and I enjoyed playing around with it. Uh, so the career that it offered me has been, has been various things. I've, I've done various roles within IT. So I've, I've been in technical support, which I enjoyed, which gave me a good grounding then to go out and train customers on the software that I was supporting. From that, I realised I liked spending time with customers, uh, uh, but I also wanted to achieve uh, more money and was told the, the way to do that was to sell. Uh, and so gradually I moved from a pre-sales role into a junior sales role and have progressed through, through there. So a career in IT is, is very varied. Uh, mine is, is, a, is, a, is a fairly generic sales role. I think really the role of IT in modern society is that it underpins everything. So whether you're going to the supermarket and you're buying a loaf of bread, or you're going to a doctor's and they're looking at your medical records, or even the car that you're driving, what's happening under the bonnet and behind the dashboard. Absolutely everything is underpinned by IT, and it will only continue to evolve and progress. And as an industry, it's a relatively new and it's a young industry, and I think how fast we've already come, particularly in terms of, say, the BCS's 50 years, but also the, pro the profession as a whole, um, stemming right back from where the Difference Engine was created many, many years ago. That transformation and that evolution is going to continue and it will do so at a fast rate. And I think anybody that's really passionate about innovation and problem solving is in a really good place. I definitely recommend people to work in IT if they're enthusiastic and if they like uh, an industry that's fast paced and very fast moving. I mean, a lot of people hear about this, you know, IT is really quick, it's, you know, things change all the time. Once you're working in the industry, you get used to it and it becomes, you know, day to day, you're used to things changing, you know, constantly. But if you step back for a second and you compare it to something else, you really see how quickly it does move. And it, you know, enthuses people, it keeps people going and everyone's very optimistic about things as well. So it's, it's very rewarding, definitely. Most 